Hi guys, welcome to another Ask Sendler. So in this Ask Sendler, uh, what I want to talk about today is verifying your domain with Facebook. So I've been meaning to do this for a little while, um, so I've got round to it now. Um, so here we go. So um, why is it good to verify your domain? Well, it's really good for Facebook to know that you are actually the owner when you're posting and these kind of things. So a Facebook, like probably a lot of other companies will start doing, is verifying your domain. It seems to be coming in as a common thing that's happening. So, uh, so I'm going to show you here, verify your domain um, with a business, uh, the business manager. So uh, what we've got here is we've got three ways that we can verify our domain. One is we can add a DNS txt or text entry to your dns records to confirm you own the domain okay that's similar to when you set up cname records uh, you can also upload an html file provided by facebook to your web directory now you won't be able to upload an html file if you're using zenla because we do not provide ftp access so that's out but if you're using it for your wordpress site you've probably got ftp access in which case you can drop an html file in there a little bit like you do when you're doing using things like Google Analytics and submitting sitemaps and things. So the third method we got, which is what one we're going to use, is add a meta tag to the head section of your domain's home page. This is going to be the easiest option for me to show you because I don't want to have um, confusing issues with people trying to add DNS TXT entries to DNS records. So add meta tag to the head section of your domain is the one that we're going to do. So first of all, we need to make sure that we're, we actually have ownership of the domain and you have to have a custom domain and that you've got an email provided with that as well. So, and you've got a, obviously a Facebook account that's tied up with that domain. Having said that, we can start the process of verifying your domain on Facebook. The first place you need to go is going to be business.facebook.com forward slash settings. So as long as you're logged in as your user, then um, and connected to your custom domain, of course, and you've got a business account on Facebook under that domain, in my case, mojomojo.design, then you can use that and you can go in. If you have to create an account, it means you haven't and you need to create an account for it and you have to go through those settings. So what you should be doing is seeing this and then it's gonna lead us on to actually going through things. So at the moment I can go now to in business settings, go to brand safety and select domains. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm gonna to go to brand safety and I'm gonna select domains here. Okay, so Mojo Mojo hasn't, uh, doesn't have any domains yet. So I'm gonna add one. So all I need to do in here is add the domain. So I'm going to add the domain for this, which is courses. And this is a subdomain, by the way, mojo, mojo.design. Okay, just double check that, make sure it's working. Um, I've spelt it wrong there, so just make sure you haven't got any errors. Mojo, mojo, mojo.design, we're gonna click add domain. So you're gonna see here, it says not verified, all right? So this is all fine. We've got the meta tag verification. We've got the HTML file upload and we've got the DNS verification. So I'm going to be using the meta tag variation. So I want to add this meta tag to the head section in the HTML of my domain homepage. So I'm going to take this meta tag. I'm going to copy it. Okay. Remember, I'm going to open this up as a separate file now. and I'm going to go into my homepage of, of courses.mojomojo.design. Okay, so now I'm in the site, I'm going to go over to here to page settings and where you say header includes, I'm going to paste that verification that we took from here and I'm going to click update. Remember, this is my home page. Okay, so now that's done um, and I've saved it in here. Um, it's definitely worth going in and just double checking that code has gone in there nicely. So I'm going to go back to page settings. Yes, it's in there nicely. I'm going to cancel that. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click verify. And now, as if by magic, we should get a green verified. Courses Mojo Mojo has been verified. So I can click that and we're all done. So now I'm verified my domain. This in fact is my subdomain, but if you're using a domain, you do it in exactly the same way. And that is domain verification inside of Facebook. 